Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a topic that has been making waves in the financial world. The escalating troubles of Zhongrong, often referred to as, China's Blackstone. We'll be taking a closer look at the recent developments that have sent shockwaves through China's financial landscape. But before we begin, a quick reminder that the information we're discussing here is for educational purposes only and is not financial advice. Remember to do your own research and consult with professionals before making any investment decisions. Now, if you're interested in staying updated on the latest financial news, don't forget to hit that follow button and smash that like and subscribe for more insightful content. Just a few days ago, we reported on the troubles facing Zhongrong, a shadow banking powerhouse that managed a whopping 1 trillion in assets under management. This secretive giant, often dubbed, China's Blackstone, found itself in hot water as it missed payments on multiple shadow banking products. These developments raised concerns about contagion in China's economy, especially given the deflationary pressures and the vulnerable real estate sector. Buckle up, because the situation has gone from bad to worse for Zhongrong. According to recent reports from Bloomberg, the asset manager not only missed payments on dozens of products, but it also lacks an immediate plan to make its clients whole. This suggests that the issues at this embattled Chinese shadow bank run much deeper than initially thought. In fact, Zhongrong's troubles are so profound that it's verging on insolvency. The company's short-term liquidity has dried up, leaving it in a tight spot. Wang Chang, board secretary of the firm partly owned by financial giant Zhangzi Enterprise Group, revealed that the number of products with missed payments is growing. The company is now facing a tsunami of questions from investors and their wealth managers. Investor patience has worn thin, leading to protests outside Zhongrong's offices. Chinese investors, who are rightfully upset after the company skipped payments on investment products, took to the streets in a rare display of public outrage. Videos of the protests went viral, showcasing the frustration of investors who were promised safe investments that didn't materialize. The ongoing debt crisis at major developers, including the likes of China Evergrande Group, has significantly impacted China's economy. The property market, a vital segment of China's economy, has seen prices fall and activity contract. As troubles in the real estate sector spread to the financial industry, there's growing concern about a negative feedback loop that could further weaken credit expansion and economic growth. China's property market continues to struggle despite efforts to provide financial support for developers and incentivize home buyers. The government's recent adjustments to property policies, such as lower mortgage rates and down payment ratios, have yet to yield significant improvements. Experts believe that more housing easing measures might be on the horizon, but the property slump could persist unless major policy changes or fiscal support are implemented. And there you have it, folks. The unfolding crisis surrounding Zhongrong, China's Blackstone, is sending ripples through China's financial sector. The deepening troubles and their potential economic repercussions serve as a stark reminder of the interconnectedness of various segments within an economy. Remember, the information discussed here is for educational purposes only and not financial advice. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay informed about developments in the financial world, make sure to hit that follow button and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more in-depth analyses and discussions. Thanks for tuning in.